we only have two episodes left this season. Well, technically four if you count the two OVA Data Live episodes. But isn't that kind of sad? Data Live is finally coming to an end in this channel. And I told you guys. I told you. you no, know, you guys told me that you want more Data Live reactions. So I gave it to you. Almost like daily uploads. And look what happened. We don't got Data Live anymore. But we still got a little bit till the end. Now, what's going to happen with the final two episodes? Something about... Like, so far, you have told me that... Season 4 is supposed to be super dark, but so far, it's just been pretty good, to be honest. It's been pretty fun. Last episode with Kurumi, that date was extremely fun. But I'm expecting the backstory to land this episode, and oh my god, it's gonna be pretty depressing, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. I don't- I don't trust Toka's chocolate. O origami has something in a veil. I mean, I'm scared what origami made. Uh-oh. Toko, I love you, but- Oh, actually looks pretty good! Oh? We gotta do a taste test. Does it actually taste good? <laughs> yeah, my twins. They got matching boxes. Just the feather? Feather chocolate? Pretty cool design. Origami. Uh oh, here we go. 3D printing of herself. Wings, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Origami. Yup, yup. Nah, Kurumi's. <gasps> she blushed! Oh no, it's just a bunch of guys. Yeah, I I'm sorry, it's a harm show, guys. Sorry. Get good! Blame yourselves! But it's really unfair, isn't it? Why are you getting mad, bro? You have your 2D girlfriend! Huh? What are they doing? This is why none of you guys get bitches, but... <laughs> It's like some kind of voodoo doll, and you're gonna, like, put a curse on him? What if this actually does something? <laughs> I mean... So you killed- you, like, broke apart this figurative Shido in the cookies, and you're eating Shido. Interesting. Gross. These are, like, participation chocolates. It's like, I feel bad for you, Kurt, take it. How nice of them, though, pre prepare that. You guys understand, these chocolates aren't really meant for individual people. They just did it out of pity, so they just fucking threw it in the air. You know what? They, they, they're clutching, though. They're hard clutching. Kurumi. Oh, shit. What's she got? Oh, you gotta be tense later? Okay. A, a room? No. What, do you, what do you mean you set up a room? Hmm? We're still playing uh, Kurumi Love is War. <laughs> Nobody got me token that just has to watch and get cucked. But they, what are we doing right now? Did they share the chocolate? Cat Cafe. Oh, we're gonna hold hands. Oh. Yo, this is still so happy. Where's the sad shit? We're going laundry shopping again? This is how it started on the first uh, date. <laughs> Maybe. Why did you bring you here then? Okay, he does. What's the what, what's besides the point? What are you doing? Why? Because it's like the memory of the first date? Mm, one of my clones. The uh the clone that uh we met in the OVA, I think, right? As well as the one in the rooftop. So is this really the OG Gurumi? Did you really kill her or is she around still? The same day, so we make her wear that black lingerie, right? Then, uh, what do we do? We go find people torturing a cat, then we kill them. And then Shiro shows up, and then Mana shows up. Oh, also, that day, we were cycling through, like, Toka and Origami dates too, right? It was a triple date. Wonder if she's already fell for him. <laughs> Last time it was a black one, right? Guys, where's the depressing shit? This is still so happy. Yes, this is near where you kill all those people. Deserved. They were attacking the cat. Mana showed up and Mana just fucking just destroyed Kurumi, but she wasn't really trying. Wow, we waited all this time for the fi What? What is it, though? Oh, I thought it'd be cashew chocolate. Oh, it is! Okay, what? Like, who's gonna win? Something holding her back. Well, she doesn't want to win and lose. She said that it's for Shido's sake. I think that if she kills the spirit origin is in the past, then none of the current shit has to happen. Therefore, Shido doesn't have to suffer somehow. Maybe Shido... Uh, tell me the truth. What? 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 Yes, tell me. Tell me. How did this all happen? 
My theory is that. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we going somewhere? Uh, that's a. Uh, that's a Tusker stuff. Okay! Kurumi's going rogue! No more fraction of support. I never knew that they were invisible drones or cameras, you know. That makes a lot more sense now, how they were able to see, but... What the fuck? Don't tell me this is where you'll live, Kurumi. Oh, I feel... You can come live with us! Sad backstory incoming. Take it all in. Oh, okay, Kurumi. Bang. That's the memory stuff, right? Like understanding all about your past and stuff. There's a cat. Oh. Kurumi as a human. Oh. She was always so fond of cats as a kid. Imagine the cat's like rabid and just bites her and runs away and Kurumi gets rabies and she dies. The end. Sad backstory. Hero of Justice. That's how Kunumi was in the past. Black Cat. Yeah, she loves the Black Cat. Whoa. Phantom? The fuck? Ice monster? I. This isn't the spirit. This. What, what is? What is this? Yoshino, are you around? What? What is that? Reine! Origin spirit! Reine! It's not really her voice, but... No, her hair color! Reine's always had her hair tied up, too. A spirit, monster... But spirits are girls. What? what, what? This is 100% Reine, dude. This is 100% Reine, dude. Wander here on your own. Affinity to become a spirit? But I thought Phantom was the one going around giving the Sephiroth stuff to girls and turning them into spirits. Mio Takamiya. Takamiya Mana. Takamiya Mana! Mio Takamiya! It's Kashido, but no, actually, bro, he was brought into. It's technically Takamiya Shido, right? But I. Uh huh? Why are spirits these random monsters rather than girls? There you go. But I thought the origin spirit showed up and destroyed everything, but it's almost like she's trying to save the world. This is a bait, don't take it. We already know she took it though. That's so interesting how it's this girl. Now she's not Phantom, but like, Reine is the one. I, I think it's Reine, anyways. What would have happened if uh, she wasn't compatible with it? Would she have just died? Yeah, they all know. You just go fucking zap kid and you know all the different words. Because like when Origami got that shit and she was like Metatron everything. I'm like, how the fuck do you know all these terms? There's the astral dress. They're calling it spirit armor now, but maybe difference in translation. Nice mirror. You look sick. It's great. Yeah. But like she called that monster, the ice monster, a spirit, but we just became a spirit ourselves. But also spirits used to be always inverted. Or that's what Nia said, but then she's like, actually, I don't really know. I don't know, dude. What the fuck? This is a spirit too? But that's not a waifu. I thought all spirits are waifus. Oh, this is the other th Kurumi battle track. Reine, show me your face. Stop it. Show me your face, Reine. I know it's you. Alright, this is cool and all, but I want to understand, from a story's perspective, why these spirits are monsters. Is this maybe Phantom? Phantom is... Reine? Reine? I don't know how this works, dude. Ah, the eye patch from the past. The past design from five years ago, remember? The Chuni eye patch. It is never gonna get better. Until she decides to grow out her hair and cover the bangs, you know, with uh, her eyes with the bang. I swear to God, if somebody, if someone hurts the cat in this episode, man, I'm gonna lose it. 
she can't hang out with her friends anymore and just visit the cats. Aww. This is such like an innocent Kurumi. Bitch, show me your face. Takami and Mio. Maybe it's not raining. Because the phantom... Like, if you if you look at the phantom's model, we can kind of see her hair. And I said that she kind of looks like Ellen because of the long hair looking like that. But it looks like this Mio person also has the same hairstyle. I'm just calling her Reine because I'm just on some next level copium thinking that the origin spirit is Reine. And, you know, it's same hair color, right? I feel like I'll take care of the cleanup. What do you do for cleanup? What do you mean? Maybe she wanted someone like Kurumi to kill all these things and then, I don't know, maybe Mio eats them up and, and then what? She becomes more powerful? Like, what? what? I don't know. I don't know if Mio's down to hang out. I think there's something very sinister to Mio. Takamiya, though. Takamiya Mana. Takamiya Mio. Takamiya Shido. What is she doing? Oh! But she's dead. Why'd you kill her? She looks like she extracted... It's the other. It's not the Sephiroth. It's the Keyloth or something, right? The, the inverted crystal? Kurumi's gonna invert. Maybe. Okay, okay. But... My power. Kurumi inverting? Inverted Kur Kurumi? What the? She went back in time to reset her... Like, losing her mental? That's how she did it? I wanted to see inverted Kurumi so bad though. Yeah, I'm a little lost. Initially, they aren't compatible. But Kurumi was able to take it. Why? Because she has had the natural affinity. How do we kill her? How did we kill her? Giving them to humans for over and over. So you just test it. You test it. And then if they go berserk, fuck it. She went berserk. She's refining the Sephira. And eventually it'll be compatible enough. Then who were those abstract, those like random monsters? They're not actual spirits. Recovering Sephira? What are you, what are you doing then? Like, what is your point? My goal. Why is she trying to find candidates to turn to spirits and bestow them the power? I don't know! What the fuck is that power? I'm now confused if this is Reine or not, because she's calling herself Mio. Maybe Mio's an old name. Maybe it's Reine now. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm cooking anymore. Zafkiel is so OP. Okay, yeah, this has turned into a very dark way. Yeah, I, I get it now. So my thinking with Rainy being the origin spirit and how she doesn't have the white dot in her eye anymore was that she's somehow dormant because obviously this isn't the origin spirit anymore. She's working on Fraxness as Rainy. But I was thinking that maybe this is one of those anime tropes where it's like, you know, a long time ago, there used to be this one gigantic uh, spirit in the form of the origin spirit, but then she suddenly split off into... You know, how many spirits do we have now? Like 11 or some shit? And now they're all fragments of the origin spirit. And now Rene is living dormant. I don't know why. I thought that maybe Westcott and Elliot were involved in creating the origin spirit. I still don't really understand how this all comes into play. Because now we have Takamiya Mio. And her hair color is very close to Rene. We've never seen Rene with her hair down. But I bet you it would look like that. We didn't see her face COVID conveniently. But now I'm kind of questioning myself. Is this Mio person really Rene? Because... This Mio person pretty much is Phantom, but now Phantom is in a very distorted way. Phantom is the one giving out the Sephira to, let's say, Kotori and other, other girls to make them into spirits. But Mio in the past actually has a human, like not a human body, but actual flesh. Something happened to where Mio turned into that Phantom. And maybe because Phantom no longer has a human body, it's because they somehow separated and the the human body is Reina. You know, you know what I'm kind of talking about? I'm really, really not confident, but I really want to believe that Reine somehow is the origin spirit because everything, it just seems a little bit too convenient about the shit she was saying last episode about we never even met Elliot, right? And at the end of the day, how does all, this all come down to Shiro? Because Kurumi specifically says, this is for your sake. 
She wants to kill, and Kurumi wants to kill the Origin Spirit so that no more other girls will be ever hurt. She wouldn't be going around trying to refine the Sephiroth to turn uh, the girls into spirits. But how does Shido come to that? How, how does preventing the Origin Spirit from doing this help Shido? And I think this goes back to why Shido even exists here. Because it feels like he's like an artificially made like test baby by DEM. And like, for some reason, he can steal the spirits, but also at the same time, whenever he uses, you know, spirit power and stuff, he gets really hurt. So he has to like suffer a lot. Therefore, if spirits were never a thing, then Shido would never have to suffer. There's still some disconnect between Shintaro, the one that Rene is talking about, and Shido, and the boy that Elliot's talking about. I don't know, man. I, I feel like the pieces are there, but I just can't make it come together. I just don't have enough information, but... Hopefully, I'm going somewhere with this. Anyways, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists in my channel, and until next time, take care.